Hi, I'm Dr. Mary Barbera, autism mom, behavior analyst, and registered nurse. My video blog last week was on ruling out medical issues before treating problem behaviors in children with autism. So if you haven't watched that yet, please go back to marybarbera.com forward slash video to watch last week's blog first. So this week I'm going to answer the question I get often that goes something like, how do you teach children with autism and severe, severe language impairments to indicate that they are in pain and tell you where the pain is coming from? When Lucas was five years old, he had surgery to remove his tonsils. My friend who was a pediatric nurse warned me that about five days after surgery, it was common after tonsillectomies for the scabs in the back of the child's throat to fall off and it might be really painful. So I shouldn't be too alarmed if Lucas woke up screaming around night five. So just as my friend predicted on night five, Lucas woke up in the middle of the night screaming in pain and for the first time ever labeled his pain by yelling out Arthur's tooth. You see, Lucas's, one of Lucas's favorite videos at the time was a video called Arthur's Tooth, where Arthur, the character on the TV, had his tooth pulled and he screamed in pain, obviously coming from his mouth. So this was kind of funny. And then for over a year or two later, if Lucas skinned his knee or banged his elbow, he would yell Arthur's Tooth as he rubbed the painful body part. When I became a BCBA a few years after Lucas started describing all pain as Arthur's tooth, I was curious as to how to best teach children to talk about pain. I remember asking a similar question to Lori Frost, an SLP and a co-creator of the PEC system many years ago. Lori's response was to make sure you label and preferably have your child label when he is something visible that is obviously hurting him. In other words, when your child has a skin knee or when he gets a bee sting, make a big deal out of labeling the pain for him by either saying boo-boo or ouch or labeling the body part, arm, arm, arm hurt, whatever the child can um, understand and hopefully repeat. Even if your child or client is speaking, he or she might need additional visual supports to learn this important and often abstract concept. To teach labeling of pain, I would recommend you try to put a real band-aid on a large picture of a boy on his various body parts and have your child fill in the blank boo-boo on the boy's knee or the boy's head hurts. You could also use the same idea for to teach this concept with a speech generating device and or with sign language. I have found that receptively touching and expressively labeling body parts are usually prerequisite skills for labeling pain. So I would also recommend working on things like Mr. Potato Head and other body part programs when your child is not in pain. I believe the ability to label pain is an important skill which can and should be taught. To watch a free video on how to use Mr. Potato Head to teach children body parts, click the link right below. If you're watching this video anywhere other than marybarbera.com, please hop on over to my website, leave me a comment, and check out the other blogs there. And I'll see you next week.